Today's Carolina Has Heart ties in perfectly with the giving season. Bountiful Blessings is a food pantry in Gastonia that feeds 900 people a week, but it all got started from humble beginnings. I'll never forget the first day we had the food pantry. We had about 12, 13 cans and two people showed up. From what started out as a food pantry with 12 cans a week has grown into one that now gets thousands of pounds of food every week. We get pounds and tons and pounds and tons. Just a general idea, if you would just look, we get this every Wednesday. Bountiful Blessings is housed in Mount Zion Restoration Church. But you don't have to be a member of the church or belong to a certain religion to get help. You don't even have to go to church, don't even have to know Jesus, don't even serve our God, but we just want to show you the love of Jesus Christ, and so that's how we do it. Bountiful Blessings says they hand out food to 300 people a week. Those people then go home and feed their families with the food. In all, the food pantry is helping 900 people a week. It has grown to about 43,000 families a year that we help here at Mount Zion Restoration Church. And they don't just hand out fruits, veggies, and canned goods. They also have this freezer full of goodies. Whenever someone has a birthday that week, they get a nice treat to help them celebrate their big day. Most of the donations come from Second Harvest Food Bank. Other local grocery stores, as well as their own church members, donate food too. So we have volunteers to go to these particular grocery stores, food lines, buy loads, and bring the food back. Bountiful Blessings has about 20 volunteers who come regularly. Many of them have been around since day one and keep coming back week after week. And what brings me back is just to see the joy on the people's faces. While Bountiful Blessings helps hundreds every week, they also need your help. We've got a campaign going that where we're trying to purchase a refrigerated truck uh, that, that we really feel a need that we really need to do it because what is to transport the food in the heat, it gets tough sometimes with coolers. That food truck cost about $65,000. So far, the organization has raised about 12000 They are planning a 5K for next year to help raise more money. A leap day 5K in 2020. Food truck or not, the organization will continue serving anyone who comes to its doors. We give out food officially on Wednesday mornings, but we're seven days a week. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, wonderful uh, story. And if you want to volunteer, we'll have much more information on our website, wcnc.com slash Carolina has heart. All right, nice story, Sarah. Yeah,